everyone, it's Thomas from Curvo. So in this last video of our series for investing as Belgian freelancers, we're going to look at calculating your Belgian pension as a freelancer. This is simply the most important question. We're going to actually calculate how much Ben, who is our example, is going to retire with when taking into account his state pension and the contributions he's been making to free pension products that we covered in other videos. So we're going to make the following assumptions for Ben. He wants to retire at the age of 67. He's 37 today, meaning he'll retire in 2052. He contributes 3,477 euros per year into his VAPZ plan. He contributes 3,477 euros per year into his IPT plan. And he contributes 1,270 euros per year in his pension saving plan. Altogether, this means that Ben contributes 8,225 euros per year across the various Belgian pension products available to him. So Ben calculated that he needs a gross retirement income of 4,000 euros per month to afford the life that he wants post-retirement. For instance, he and his wife, they want to travel more, uh, they want to provide for their children and potentially grandchildren, and because of inflation, he will actually need 7,250 euros in 2052 to maintain the same purchasing power as 4,000 euros today. So the average life expectancy for a Belgian men is 78.5, which means Ben needs a retirement fund of almost 1 million euros. So 1,212 euros per month is going to be covered by state pension or 2,195 in 2052 because of indexation. So will Ben have enough money to retire on his own terms? Unfortunately, the answer is clearly no. The state pension and his contributions to the various pension plans do not get Ben to the retirement that he actually wants. His state pension and the contributions to all of those different plans, they add up to only 613,000 euros. He's missing around 386,000, which is Ben's retirement gap. So what options does Ben have to actually close that gap? As we learned from running the simulation, it's unlikely that those free pension plans, those free pillars will get Ben to his desired retirement goal. And unfortunately, most people don't actually realize this until it's too late. So it's super important to, for you to take matters into your own hands and start taking action as early as possible. So options to close the gap include uh, savings accounts, you know, their savings accounts are super easy. You can move money from one checking account to a saving account. Every bank offers one and it's usually for free, but we actually think it's not suited to build your retirement fund. Primarily because for so many years, the inflation rate's been higher than the interest rate you earn on your savings account. This means that every year you're basically losing purchasing power by keeping your money in your savings accounts, which is not doing anything for you. That's why savings accounts are suitable on their own, to, uh, not suitable on their own to set you up for retirement. Instead, they're super perfect for being your emergency fund or rainy day fund. This is really money that you can tap into, for instance, if you lose your source of income or you have an accident. Fortunately, there are way better ways to save for retirement so you don't lose your savings through inflation. An example specifically for Belgians is real estate. So many Belgians consider real estate is safe and sound investment. We actually realize that it isn't easy to be successful at it. It can be a good way to build your nest egg, but it's hard to do well in, and it has so many pitfalls. For instance, choosing the wrong location can actually have a great impact on your return, but it's also very hard to pick the right location when considering your budget. And your savings are super concentrated in one property. It's a big risk in case something bad were to happen to the property or the area around it. And something that people forget is that a property needs constant maintenance. The heating breaks, the walls need fresh paint, the roof needs to be cleaned. All of these things require both time, but also some money. And the different taxes applicable to property can be significant. We actually discussed the complexities of investing in property in depth. If you wish to learn more, I put a link in the show notes. It's really worthwhile for you to read. But finally, we actually think that investing in the global economy through index investing is the best way for the majority of Belgians to save for their future. As you'll see, it's actually more effective than the savings account and it's free of all the complex factors associated with real estate investing. So index funds are ideal for the long term in Belgium. 
because index investing is most commonly done through ETFs. So an ETF, also known as an exchange traded fund, it's a collection of hundreds or sometimes thousands of stocks and bonds. Diversification is really one of the most attractive aspects of owning an ETF compared to individual stocks. So by investing in one ETF, you become invested in thousands of companies in one go. And through one share of an ETF, you essentially own a very small piece of the global economy. Because ETFs are passive, they are really perfect for the person who really wants to take control of their own time and doesn't want to spend time trading and making sure they buy and sell their stocks at the right time. And it actually turns out that ETFs yield a better return than those who are trying to beat the market. As the European uh, finance regulator found out, I've linked that research into the show notes. And you can really also find out more about passive investing versus stock picking, also linked in the show notes. And history also corroborates all of this. So the global economy has grown tremendously over the past 100 years. And index investing through ETFs is actually a way for all of us to benefit from this growth. For instance, IWDA, a very popular ETF that consists of thousands of companies in developed countries, that's yielded an average of 11.1% return since 1979. So historical performance of IWDA, this is a graph taken from backtest. Look at that return. And fund managers, they charge a fee for managing their funds. So the total cost of a fund is actually indicated by the total expense ratio. This is also known as the TER. So ETFs are typically much cheaper than the active funds that are sold by traditional banks. So the popular IWA, IWDA ETF has a TER of 0.2%. In contrast, this actively managed climate fund from Belfus costs 1.92%, on top of which you have to pay an entry fee of 2.5% on every investment you make. Fees is such an important reason why index investing is favored over traditional active investment funds. And so that's really why we built Curvo. We wanted to create the easiest way for Belgian freelancers to close their retirement gap through passive investing. Curvo offers really the following benefits. One, we're rooted in index investing. We don't believe in chasing the market. Instead, we understand passive investing is the time-tested way to grow your savings through a diversified portfolio of low-cost index funds. Secondly, Curvo offers peace of mind. So we take care of all the complexities of investing, so you actually don't have to worry about them. Thirdly, there's automated monthly contributions. So you can set a savings plan through Curvo and you can put all your contributions on autopilot. You can save for your retirement while your time can be spent on the things that you actually enjoy. And fourthly, you can start investing from 50 euros and there are no limits to how much you can actually contribute to your plan. Also at Curvo, there's no entry or exit fees. You pay a 1% annual fee to use the service. Fractional shares are also offered. This means that all your money is invested. There's no cash sitting on an account that isn't actually working for you. And safety is very important through our partner NNEK. Your investments are secure and they're regulated by the Dutch financial authorities. You're also obviously protected by the European Investor Protection Scene. So closing Ben's retirement gap, can we actually make it? So let's take the argument to back to Ben. So we calculated he needed 386,000 euros to close his retirement gap. The chart below shows that he can achieve this by contributing 267 euros every month to a Curvo growth portfolio, which is expected to return an average 5.7% net return per year. So with Curvo, Ben can effectively close his retirement gap. So if you want to calculate your own retirement gap, you can. Ben's situation is fairly average, but we know everyone's lives are very unique. And the calculations underlying the graph that I just showed above are obviously freely available. We've put it in a spreadsheet. You can make a copy of it and you can tailor it to your own circumstances. You're, yeah, you may also find that some of our assumptions do not fit your situation. In that case, uh, you'll have to make more consequential ad adaptations to the spreadsheet, but we've linked it in the show notes, so have a go and fill it in. 
So to conclude, we explained the different ways that you can save for your pension as a Belgian freelancer. As you can see, it's especially difficult for self-employed because the state pension is so low compared to that of employees and civil servants. And fortunately, the Belgian government does have several mechanisms at disposal beyond just the state pension through which you can save in a tax advantageous way. I think through these series of videos, we've really presented to you how you can benefit from the different pension products offered by the Belgian government and using Ben as a use case to really highlight it. Unfortunately, it's super unlikely that he's actually going to get the post-retirement life that he envisages due to the combination of contribution limits, high taxes imposed upon retirement, and also the high fees charged by banks and all those other providers. So Ben really faces a retirement gap that he needs to fill and, he's, and he knows he isn't alone. And so at Curvo, our mission is really all about passive investing and it's really the best way for freelancers to close this gap. It makes your money work for you and it has none of the disadvantages associated with other options like a savings account or a real estate investment. So this was the last video of our series related to Belgian freelancers. Hit that subscribe button for more series like this and more videos. Please like and comment with how you're saving for your retirement. Thank you. Thank you.